All right, today we're taking this barbell alone and building ridiculous looking back. Now, first, let me say, if you're brand new, probably isn't for you. There's some advanced lifts that aren't easy to do. Also, if you're training just for strength, this video isn't for you either. That's not my goal. I train for the superficial benefits. I want somebody to be able to judge me from a distance and say, that guy looks like an asshole. That way, when they're forced to interact with me, I don't disappoint. So if that's you too, let's get after it. All right, today we're training that entire back, and I'm going to do it in the worst order possible. We're starting out with a variation of deadlifts. It really puts the onus on you to engage and contract that back through the movement. Because with regular deadlifts, there's so many variables and things that can go wrong. And when you're deadlifting for hypertrophy, it's very easy to lose sight of the fact that your goal should be to put as much good stress on that back as possible, and instead you just end up moving the weight. You're gonna start out like a normal deadlift, but three quarters of the way down, you're gonna stop and hold it for three seconds. Key there is make sure all that stress is on your back. It doesn't drift in your hamstrings, doesn't go anywhere else. That back is nice and safe, it's nice and flat. From there, instead of just standing it up and finishing it off like a normal deadlift, what I want you to do is start the contraction off in your lats. You're gonna start by engaging those lats, pulling that bar towards you, that entire upper back is gonna contract, and the entire movement is gonna feel like more of an active movement. Instead of just a static contraction, where you're just holding the weight and just trying to put as much heavy ass weight on your back, now you're gonna be able to contract through the movement and get more engagement out of that entire back. All right, for this next one, you're gonna have to go even lighter than you did for the last one because it's one of the few cases where we're gonna purposely disengage that mid and upper back. So if you do this wrong, you're probably gonna die. It's critical that that lower back stays engaged the entire time. If you lose it, your turn's over, you're done. Because all we want is movement in that upper back so then we can drive that contraction right into that mid back, build thickness in those lower lats. Some people don't like me saying lower lats. Coincidentally, those are also the people that don't have any thickness in that lower part of the lats where they originate. So. We're also trying to make the upper back work as much as possible too, so make sure you flare those lats out as you go down and then contract them back as you come up. Someone do me a favor and comment the true story below because I have no idea if this is. But when I was younger, someone told me that Dorian tore his bicep by doing reverse grip rows, and it scared the shit out of me. I mean, obviously, I think we all have some underlying fear of tearing a muscle, but the idea of that bicep popping off and rolling up into your shoulder, kind of like one of those things you used to slap on your wrist as a kid, terrified. So I stopped doing them all together. But as I got older and a little bit more inventive with my training, I brought him back in with a couple tweaks. First thing is, I do them a lot lighter, but more importantly than that, I take that same concept I have when I'm trying to target lats on the seated row and bring it over here. So the elbow's in a fixed position, therefore I gotta get movement in that entire back to keep that same angle of the elbow and follow the natural arc of those lats. All right, we're gonna finish off by tearing up that upper back. So what we're gonna do is a nice controlled row with our back parallel to the floor, elbows nice and high, and because we don't wanna miss any part of that upper back, all the way from those rear delts back into those traps, we're gonna go hands fairly close to start, working our way out, getting wider and wider every set. I like to think Home Depot, not for sponsoring this video, but when you're tired, it's a pretty comfy bucket. Well done. And if you need more tips on back training, here's a link to another video, also just another one of my favorites. Most importantly, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.